The worst dogs for cats are sometimes also the worst ones for children. Why? Well, if they tend to attack cats, they could also pose a danger to your children. But is that true or is it just a myth? Traits that make dogs dangerous to cats are strong predatory instincts and tendency to be unfriendly towards dogs and other animals. Before we begin with the list, I'd like to ask you to share this video on your Facebook profile using the share button below. That way, your friends can also see whether their dog gets along poorly with cats. Now follows the list of the top 10 dog breeds that hate cats. Number 10. The Saluki The ancient Saluki breed is considered one of the oldest dog breeds in the world. They are agile, quick, quiet and love running off after everything. How come? As you can probably guess, their pronounced hunting instinct is to blame. Saukis are intelligent, independent, reserved, loyal and quiet. These dogs don't bark or make messes, they don't shed much and can get along well with cats if they grow up together. However, cats unfamiliar to them won't be so lucky. Number 9. The Afghan Hound The Afghan Hound is known as a very dignified, independent and beautiful dog breed. Well, they are excellent dogs for indoor living, how are they around cats? Afghan hounds are dignified, reserved, independent and happy. Although they are very calm and well behaved at home, that's not the case outside. Afghan hounds love running, they have strong hunting instincts and will often run after cats. Training is also unlikely to help since these dogs are notoriously difficult to train. Number 8. The Miniature Schnauzer Miniature schnauzers are energetic little pups who love being the center of attention. Their owners adore them, but what about cats? Miniature schnauzers are friendly, intelligent, fearless, obedient, lively and attentive. These dogs have strong hunting instincts and will often hunt cats for fun. As far as house cats are concerned, miniature schnauzers will either love them or hate them. And when it comes to unfamiliar cats, we don't need to waste too many words describing what they might do. Number 7. The Beagle The proficient little hunter Beagle also finds its place on the list of some of the most cat-unfriendly dogs. They get along really well with children, but cats and smaller animals dislike them. Beagles are friendly, energetic, playful, curious and decisive. People used them for rabbit hunting in the past. Today, they luckily serve primarily as wonderful little pets, always ready to play with their families. Their hunting instincts, however, have remained, so they still love chasing cats and smaller animals. If you haven't shared the video with your friends on social networks yet, I hope you will. The worst dog breeds for cats are still to come. If you are enjoying the video, I invite you to join our family of animal lovers and subscribe to the channel. Number 6. The Australian cat -o dog Australian cat -o dogs found their primary use in drawing cattle over long distances. Their instincts have remained and they are a breed that doesn't get along well with smaller animals. Why? Australian cat -o dogs are protective, energetic, obedient, wary, brave and loyal. These dogs play too rough for chickens, cats and other small pets. They will continually push them around and bite them, even if playfully. Their hunting instincts are also rather obvious. Even if an Australian cat dog is well socialized, cats are unlikely to ever get along with them. And if they are not socialized, they can turn into a cat's worst nightmare. Number 5. The Jack Russell Terrier Even though families adore Jack Russell Terriers, that's not exactly the case with cats. What's the issue? Jack Russell Terriers happen to be an extremely energetic dog breed whose liveliness is matched only by their strong hunting instincts. These dogs are intelligent, fearless, stubborn, energetic, athletic and loud. However, no two dogs are the same. In some cases, you might find even a Jack Russell Terrier getting along swimmingly with a family cat. More often, the two will hate each other's guts. Number 4. The Greyhound the English Greyhound was first and foremost a hunting dog. Greyhounds are excellent hunters, helped in part by their incredible speed and characteristics suitable for racing. More precisely, they are the fastest dogs in the world. And that sounds like bad news for cats, wouldn't you say? Greyhounds are intelligent, phlegmatic, polite, athletic, gentle and quiet. It might help to have them grow up together with cats and train them well. In such cases, they could become rather friendly toward the family cat. 
Still, when you spot an unfamiliar cat, the only thing that will help you is a sturdy fence or a good leash. Coming up are the top 3 dog breeds that hate cats. Number 3. The Whippet The Whippet originated around the end of the 18th century as a hunting breed. As yet another excellent hunter, the Whippet particularly excelled at catching rabbits and other small game. It wouldn't be wrong to say that these dogs have an inborn drive to run and hunt. It pays to be extra careful when taking them out on a walk, even a well-trained Whippet will at times run after smaller animals such as cats if they happen to spot one. As pets, Whippets are intelligent, friendly, polite, lively, gentle and quiet. Whippets are excellent pets and they can get along with cats provided they grew up together. However, some owners did state that their Whippets kill their family cat. Number 2. The Chinese Sharpei if you've already seen a few of my videos, you might know that Chinese Sharpei appears in many negative dog lists. Why is this so? They happen to have some traits that dog owners tend to dislike. That also goes for cats and other small animals, if this list is any indication. Chinese Sharpeis are protective, independent, devoted, worry and quiet. These dogs are extraordinarily independent, they do what they want, they are not over friendly toward anyone and they enjoy dominating. Unlike most other breeds on this list, they don't have exceedingly strong hunting instincts, however, they are sometimes unwilling to tolerate cats, at which point they will start to chase them. The owner of a Sharpei must be especially assertive and experienced to earn this dog's respect. Otherwise, many behavioral problems will crop up. And now for the very worst dogs for cats, ready? And the worst dogs for cats are the Weimar Runners. Weimar Runners are energetic little dogs, owners love them since they always take an interest in participating and desire a lot of attention. But reports from owners who also have cats are not encouraging, what's the problem? Weimar Runners are stubborn, sensitive, persistent, intelligent, energetic, attentive, strong and quick. These dogs were bred for hunting purposes, particularly by noble families. As hunting dogs, they excel in retrieving, tracking, pointing and hunting both on land and in water. Weimar runners are deadly hunters and it's not uncommon for them to fatally injure cats. They might be excellent pets, but you should keep them away from cats and other small animals. While they hate cats, the dogs on this list are in no way a poor choice of pet for families, even ones with children. Most of them are hunting dogs and as such, very devoted to their owners. However, they do like run after small animals. They also tend to be playful and energetic breeds, making them well suited for all kinds of families. If you know of any breeds I failed to mention in the video, or you have a suggestion or some other information, leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and share it with your friends on Facebook and other social networks. You can also subscribe to the channel and join our growing family of animal lovers. Would you like to see more? In the description, I have prepared links to the videos of the top 10 most loyal, smartest, deadliest, most beautiful, smallest dog breeds in the world and many more. Let's keep our pets healthy and happy! Bye!